A gun to the head was not enough, and neither was his sister having to escape her homeland under gunfire. It took me as a seven-year-old child coming home one day, singing political propaganda songs for my father to finally say, it's time to leave Nicaragua because he wanted to give me a shot. He wanted me to fulfill my dreams. What do you guys think of when you think of immigration? Is this what you think of? Do you think of a border agent? Let me tell you what I think of. I think about people. I think about myself when I was nine years old and I found out I was undocumented, an illegal, a dreamer, before that phrase was even coined. A lot of people think about the border with Mexico, and rightfully so, most of our immigrants come from Mexico, but in recent years, there has been negative net migration, more people going to Mexico than coming in from Mexico. But how do we get undocumented immigrants? Most of them actually come here legally with a visa. They come here as students, they come here as tourists, and then they overstay. Two thirds of undocumented Im immigrants have come through visas. Now, a lot of people associated uh, immigration talks today with the border wall. But the border wall is estimated to cost anywhere between 20 and $25 billion. And for less than that, we can house every single homeless person in America. For even less than that, we can restructure the entire electric grid in Puerto Rico. Now today, what we see with our immigration system is an administration ending programs such as TPS, Temporary Protected Status. That's a, a program protecting people who are escaping war-ravaged countries or countries facing national disasters. About two million people will lose their status next year. What is the Nicaraguan father to do once his TPS expires? He's had his business the last 11 years. What's gonna happen to his 15 employees? What's gonna happen to his US born children? What is the cost? What are we to do? This is the effect of these policies. But it's not just a one party problem. Both parties are to blame. Under Obama, we had a Democratic House and a Democratic Senate, and yet we failed to act. Both political parties use immigration as a political football, but people's lives are on the line. It's an actual problem. Now we have right-wing media gleefully report over ICE raids as if it were a good thing. But what it does, it destroys families. These immigrants are not criminals. 8% of Americans have felony convictions. Less than 3% of undocumented immigrants do. But this country was founded a lot on racism. Deport the illegals. You're an illegal alien, illegal immigrant. Can anyone really be illegal or an illegal? Where does this hate come from? Why do we allow ourselves to be guided by such xenophobia? These are scenes from a movie from 1915 called The Birth of a Nation. And in this movie, white women were portrayed to be in danger at the hands of racial minorities. Racial minorities played by white actors in blackface. It's a scare tactic and it dates back 100 years. And it's a scare tactic that's being used today. This is a political ad airing today by the Speaker of the House where he portrays a white woman shot by what apparently is an Ill illegal immigrant. This is what's going on today and is a disgraceful that we are still using these 100 year old scare tactics. Now this is what I see when I think about immigration. You see, I don't know that little girl, but I know that look because I've had that look. A look that says, give me a shot. Let me have a hand in my own destiny. Let me go home to my family. Because this is what may end up happening. I may find one of these companies. Every single one of these companies was founded by an immigrant. This is the impact of immigration. Think about how many jobs are created by these companies. We are entrepreneurs, we provide. No one comes to America to wanna to take. We wanna give. And these are the dreamers. These individuals came here when they were less than two years old. This is the only country they know. We fostered their talent, and now we are to throw them to the street? 
we are to go ahead and tell them, go to another country and use the talent that we've developed to compete against us. What can stop a dream? A nightmare. <laughs> this is the architect of the Muslim travel ban. When the Muslim travel ban was struck down by federal courts, the federal judges cited his words because he specifically stated that the purpose of the travel ban was to ban Muslims. And this is what the travel ban looks like. This is a scene from the Orlando International Airport when we had travelers from Syria and Iran trying to get back in after a short trip. Can you imagine leaving to see your family and you're coming back home to study and then you're, you may not even be allowed back in? Look at the anguish on the people's faces. Look at the concern. Look at the nail biting. And this is after this UCF student was released. That's the real life impact of our policies today. Immigration is about people. Now what can you do? I love John Lennon's words. You can say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. And you too can get involved with organizations that look to have an inclusive city where it doesn't matter who you love. It doesn't matter what your, what your religion. It doesn't matter where you come from. We are one people. We have one dream. This is not about silly border walls. It is not about border searches. Immigration is about people.